Hey guys, back uh, with the second part of the the Tiger build through tutorial video. Um, as you can see, I've uh, got the both sides of the Zimmer on. Uh, what to really well. Some reveal stuff. And uh, so today we're going to be doing the suspension arms. We'll talk a little bit about that. The final drives. Um, cut out the wheels, test fit them, make sure that they fit. Um, but then I'll be taking them off. And uh, then, boy. Um, then we'll be discussing the tracks uh, and I think that will do it for today uh, I'll get it recorded and uploaded tonight uh, the football's on this afternoon so I'll be pretty busy um, around about 3 o'clock so I'll get it recorded um, this morning so, for this we're using the B sprue, which there is two of. Uh, so we're going to get all of them off, talk a bit about workable stuff and whatnot. Two minutes, guys, I've got my glasses on, that would help. Glasses and we're ready to go. <sighs> right. So, to start off with, at the back, you've got the uh, idler wheel mount here. Uh, there will be a proper name for it, but I'm not a tiger expert. I do like tigers and I do have a lot of books on them, but getting the time to read and uh, picking up things is a different matter so I'm going to cut these out and get them on because they're going to be the base for the next step um, got a new cutting mat on the way uh, yeah, funny story about that actually um, Cutting mats on the way, I thought it would have come this morning, um, but it didn't. And I'm waiting. So that'll be new, and I'll use this one for painting. Uh, so I'll have two cutting mats in here one for building and one for painting. And that leads me to my next topic where uh, I placed an order from Element Games. Uh, they are a company, I think they're London based. Uh, they mostly do Warhammer and stuff like that, uh, Wars gaming and that sort of stuff, but they do do modern stuff as well. And I've got some Tamiya tape on the way. Uh, I placed an order for this little tool set, I think I mentioned it in the last video. Uh, it's a figure starter tool set from the Army Painter range. Um, and it's, you get the, the metal file, metal cutters and some super glue, but well, my super glue sort of dried up so I thought yeah why not, I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, they didn't have, they actually emailed me and said that they didn't have that in stock. Uh, so I was entitled to wait and they would have sent it out or I said, no, they said they would give me a refund for the, the item that wasn't there. And uh, I must say, the refund's on its way, it takes three days to clear. Um, so it'll be in my bank uh, next week. And the reason I'm talking about that is they were really quick. No, I can't reckon, I can't praise their customer service enough. They were fantastic. It was really quick. From the minute I emailed them back, it was sorted within a matter of within about an hour probably, uh, back and forth, so that was good. Um, yeah, we talk about this, as you can see these things have a little, I'm going to try and get this light over here a little bit, 
have a little sort of locator peg here that goes inside the locating arm here. Now if you wanted sorry guys I'm still stuck in the cold. If you wanted to make these workable uh, then you would trim that down and uh, put it in and just there's something you can put on the inside I'm not entirely sure I've never done it but I won't be making mine workable anyway but to make them workable you would cut that off certainly and have a little mountain on the inside that makes it swing uh, the picture that I'm building from is Vitamins 205 in Normandy and that's quite a snug fit in there it's a good thing about trumpeter because the fit is always really good I'll trim that up there so if you wanted to you could add a little bit of go in there and I will do that before I put the tracks on tracks will get to uh, at the, the tail end of this video because I've got a bit to talk about on them but these go in there into the locating man I'm going to leave it loose for now so the next part where uh, I think I'll actually put the final drives on first uh, and then continue with that so I'm using the sprue final drives. So you've got 24 for the left side, 23 for the right side. Plastic is a bit tough. Don't do that, just done, guys. <laughs> You're really not meant to do that because it can damage the part. But I'm stupid at times. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to install the final drives, going to clean them up, get them installed. Now, I was saying that Vitamins 205, the picture uh, that I'm going to be working from, uh, has. Company of the two are uh, the 101st SS Panzer moving into position in Normandy. Um, and it's on flat ground now that there are tigers and foliage and stuff in the background. But uh, I'm not going to be able to, it would be too big to build them all. There's about three tigers in the picture. Um, and uh, well that's space really in a nutshell. Uh, you can't build something that's going to take up space that you don't have. And uh, that's one of the problems in modern because some of those, uh, well one is price. <laughs> Uh, they're dear, but those uh, 116 scale kits from Trumpeter. Uh, you get the King Tiger, they've brought out a Panther, and uh, they also brought uh, a Panzer IV. Yeah, I'd love to build one of them, but space dictates that's not going to happen. You can't go and order a big 116 scale cut if you don't have the space. So that's the final drive. I'm going to use some extra thumb round about the round about where the drive goes here. Notice I didn't put it in the locating holes. That was something I learned a long time ago. Put it in the locating holes and they can warp and they can dry up and it gives you a hell of a fit issue. 
like I say, trumpeters kits nowadays are a lot more advanced than the early stuff I'll tell you. I had a T55A which was the uh, early stuff, it didn't come with a where you would put on the, the dry sprockets and idler wheels it didn't have a mountain it didn't have a bar through or anything like that it was just you were to make it on your own but it didn't tell you that either and for me just starting back into the hobby because I don't know when you get back into the hobby you tend to go for the cheaper kits uh, well I certainly did and uh, that one ended up getting used for spare parts but it, it was a horrible kit in fairness I don't know if they retooled it um, I know Tacom's got the T54 out I'd imagine their offer would be a hell of a lot better than that one um, but it had like toolboxes with the pins up the way so the detail wasn't going, you weren't seeing the detail, the detail was facing down instead of up but you had these pins <laughs> uh, on the detail so that wasn't good either but like I said the, the kits nowadays are a hell of a lot better um, so yeah, now I, could, I would be able to knock it together without any problems that way because at the time I was a novice and just getting back into the hobby really so that's okay. Again some Timia extra thin or Tamiya or whoever you want to call it. Some people get really upset over pronunciation in the hobby. I've never got that. At the same time people pronounce things differently. Because we're all different. <coughs> we're all human, that's what they say. Right, so now we're on to that. I'm going to cut out the guy tones, which are sitting right next to me. We'll cut these out, clean them up, get them on, and uh, then we'll turn the page and see what's what there. I'm still loaded with a cold. It's uh, doing the nut on. A viral infection. <sighs> Having to stay up to 2 o'clock in the morning to take my last tablet, so that's a, a joy. But, on the flip side of that, I'm getting to read more of my book. That's uh, Michael Reynolds. Still, oh, it's about the Hitler Yugen uh, live stand out in Normandy. Uh, there's, is it still? Oh, I can't remember. I'll, uh, I'll get, I'll get that information for the next video. Um, but I've got, uh, he's got four books that I know of. Um, one of his first one was The Devil's Adjutant uh, on Yoke and Piper. Um, that was good. There's a lot of unit detail as well. Uh, so he's done his homework, the fella. So I'm reading that just now. Um, the other one he's got, it's uh, Men of Steel. Again, that's on the live stand out, I think. Uh, the other one is on uh, Papa House's Dash Reich, I think that's it. I might be wrong. Now, uh, if you've got me on Facebook, I'll upload a picture of the four of them today and you can see what I'm talking about. I got them for a real bargain. Um, they were. They're £20 a book, retail price, and I got them 20 quid all in. 
that was for free shopping, so that was a, a nice wee bargain I got there. I don't mind paying for books because once you pay for them, uh, well you've got them in the years. Me and Steve are the same that way, we're kind of book and tool tarts really. Well I'm not a tool tart as such, but books definitely. Uh, you can't go wrong with a, a good book. No oil and stuff all the time. So, let me get all these cut out. Without losing them. Like Both sides suspension arms on and then, like I said, I'm going to be building my tiger on flat ground. It's just going to be a, like a vignette. Uh, I was going to build the second tiger that's in the background, but it would just be too much. It'd just be too much in terms of uh, time and space. So I think yeah, it'll be fine. Try and get a photo frame or something, and just build out of that. Um, there's some interesting features on it as well, like the Bow MG and stuff. I'll make over my reference again, but I'm sure that his Bow MG was removed and put in the anti-aircraft position. I didn't actually know. That was a practice, I thought they had a separate anti-aircraft machine gun, so I'll need to, need to find out about that. Right, that's us. We're all set and down to go to get these all cut up. Um, I'm going to try and do this series, guys, as how um, recording it in the morning. And then being able to upload it at night. Because I've got the refill in that as well, so I can't have been here all day messing around. So that's what I'll aim to do. No, but some days I'll, I'll miss that day, I don't even not be able to get it up and stuff. Uh, life gets in the way, unfortunately. I'll try and be as consistent as possible. Like I said in the last video, this will be like a complete build, so it'll be uh, the build, paint stage, uh, all the way to the finished. And then if this one goes well, I think I'll do all my builds on YouTube. So, it'll be my way of contributing. Some of the stuff, like I said, will be similar to other people's videos. But, I don't think that's a problem because, to me, there can't be too many videos on how to do things. And we've all got our own way of doing things. So, like that. Well, I should not be covered anyway. It's the clean up of these things. I was actually going to clean them up last night. But I didn't, that was lazy. And I ended up watching Midway, the original one. My uh, Henry Fonda on that. It's a good film. Of course you'll get your uh, correct people coming out and saying, oh, they didn't get this right, and they didn't get that right. <laughs> I don't give a shit, it's a good film. It's an interpretation of events, it's not, it's not a reenactment. I don't know how you can criticise people for 
I think they did a pretty good job. I haven't seen the new one. Uh, there's been some mixed reviews on it. And the new Midway. Um, like I said, we're all different. I quite enjoyed Fury. Um, not for the historical aspect because I agree with that part 300 Waffen SS and with Panzer first try to take out the <laughs> tract. Uh, Sherman was kind of ridiculous, but put it down to artistic license, should we say. Well, I'm on the subject of war films, if anyone can tell me why there's so much hate on, excuse me, on Pearl Harbor, put it in the comments. <laughs> I, I don't get the hate. I don't think it was that bad. But again, it's maybe someone who's maybe historical stuff that people think it's shit, but. I didn't think it was that bad, if I'm being honest. Uh, uh, that's another cut tab to me. I don't like trimming plastic with blades because I always cut myself. So, don't do that. I'll try and avoid that. Next one, I'm thinking uh, after the Tiger build, uh, we'll have a look first. Ash, but I got a to be a German half track. Um, I was thinking of uh, flinging that together in a video. Oh, well I remember, apologies for the angle of the camera in the last video, it was, the video was actually upside down, but um, I'll remember to uh, edit it the next time. And the reason that happened is because I had trouble finding the place where you actually upload. YouTube and their infinite wisdom changed it again. Because there's something between the app and uh, the app and the desktop site, so I don't know what the his idea of that was. Just keep things the same. I'm fucking about with things that don't need to be uh, changed. It's not convincing much convenience on it. By the way, anyone who does do like the YouTube videos and that, how much of a pain in the ass was it to find that bit that you comply with the corpo thing for the kids? That your kids that your, that your videos aren't meant for kids. Again I don't know whether it was because I was doing it in the tablet and it was an app side of things um, but good god I had trouble my first video that I did since coming back was uh, I think it's about a 3 or 4 minute video and it took me um, it took me all night to find out where this thing was Real pain in the ass, but I got there. Uh, so, if anyone struggles with it, you can let me know and I can do a video on it explaining where things are. Because I watched uh, someone's video and it was the right way to do it, but that option on my tablet just wasn't there. So there was some 
choice words that night, I'll tell you. More so than the choice words of Wednesday night. Steve, shut up. <laughs> Don't even go there. <laughs> Let me mourn in peace. For you guys that don't follow football, that's what it's about. <laughs> uh, got a few more tools on the way uh, from Royal Model. I don't know if anyone's ever ordered from them. Uh, they do, really, to me anyway, if I've looked at their site, they sort of specialise in resin figures and things. Um, They had a waffle pattern similar thing. Um, and what the aspect, the idea of it is, is that you take something like this, which is a round, sort of circular thing, and then you, it's a photo etch waffle pattern that you would super glue onto here, and then you can do the waffle pattern. And there's that one, and there's the other similar. Um, for the, the panther, you know, with the straight lines. It's different on a tiger, different on a tiger than a panther. Um, Steve got me a panther um, not long ago, it was full interior. I've actually been looking at it to possibly make a start with it. It won't be in the next video, I'll tell you that, because I'm not, I've not fine tuned uh, doing these yet. Far from it. Um, but I'm um, looking at doing that at some point. Um, but like I was saying, the straight is in it and it's got the the other tool uh, that you put the putty on and then drag it across. Um, so I've got that on the way and uh, get a silicon mould for bricks from dioramas. Uh, if you if I've ever seen any of uh, Richard, got his DVD here. Yeah. Got his book as well. Richard Windrow, uh, it's terrain model, and it's really good. Uh, the book and the DVD are really good. Some of those DVDs are sort of like, well, I don't know, maybe for me they're sort of they've outgrown their usefulness. Um, because some of the techniques are outdated, to say the least. Uh, the way we do things is sort of moved on from from that. But having said that, uh, the books by guys like Shep Payne and, and all these kind of guys, well, they won't outgrow their usefulness because many aspects of the hobby are. Um, Pioneered by these guys. Um, still looking for his diorama book, Chip's uh, diorama book. Um, so the only place I've seen it is eBay, and it's pretty expensive. I do have it on my tablet, but. One thing that bugs me reading on the tablet is how you've got to zoom in and out, zoom in and out, all the time. And it's, uh, well, it makes you not want to read it, so I, I do like having things in front of me. Um, so, I'm trying to get his diorama book. But, um, I think we YouTube and stuff. There's a lot of people out there who do like their own style of uh, you know, showing people how to do things, and that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm not a master modeler by any manner, I mean, so I'm still learning. Um, I'm still pinging messages to people. Oh, how'd you do that? So, what would you recommend for that? Um, uh, I don't mind doing that because that's how you learn. Um, 
However, you need to watch out for the dickheads out there who use their, their knowledge of expertise to be an asshole to people, um, as if they should know. Well, if we weren't asking you, we wouldn't ask you if we knew how to do it, would we? <laughs> Some people are just assholes. Some people are humble, and some people are just like, you know, as so I've learned the people that you can chat to, and I've learned the people that you stay away from. And please don't ask me to elaborate on that, because I will not be, I'm not one for causing trouble, that's just my thoughts on that subject. You've noticed as well that you're probably not going to see uh, these areas that I'm cleaning up because the wheels are going to be in front of them, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to dry fit these and put them in. Um, so yeah, I always dry fit the wheels because you don't want to put them in and then have a problem later on. Um, uh, because it's going to be mudder to fix. to me a stuff for this because uh, I don't have any I've never had any problems with it Hold on, guys. Sounded bad on the camera. So once these are all in, I'm gonna flip it when it's set, and then uh, once it's set, we can do the wheels. That'll be probably done tomorrow. Uh, so Sunday's always a so boring day. So be worried not if it was about tomorrow. I'm just gonna put this last one on here guys because you've seen me doing one side so I can do the other side um, on my own so I'm going to flip that now let it dry and uh, I'll clean up those guys once uh, once I've finished speaking now I'm not going to do the wheels just now Again, that's real. But I'm going to talk about trains. <laughs> now, a wee second till I get them. Uh, yeah. These are the tracks that you get with this cap. I'm going to open them. I'm going to have a very, I'll probably just need to open one. Now for tigers, I mean you could use them, mm -hmm. if you so wished, as your model kit, and how you build your model kit is entirely up to you. 
I'm just gonna alter this for the minute. Okay. So I'm just get some point with. So as you can see, these are quite well detailed. You've got the this sort of steel texture here, okay? And then you've got the detail on this one. That's fine. If they had um, if I can just get it to focus. Side. As you can see here, they have sword guide arms. Tigers don't have sword guide arms, so if you're not a rivet counter but you do like having things to a certain degree of correct, well, the simple things anyway. Like Tracks with hollow guy tones. That's one. And uh, they give you these in the kit, and it's probably the only thing that lets the kit down, really, um, on the surface, anyway. Um, so, as you can see, they've got you putting these around, they've got the shape and stuff like that. That's fine. Um, but, like I said, the tracks are. Useless. Those tracks will be used for a demonstration video on individual link tracks. How to put them together, and I'll use a tiger. You know, I'll use a. Maybe actually build something like on the end of something, a bit of wood or something, and have like wheels, and then the the gate on the return roller. So that I can demonstrate it. I haven't used an actual modded kit. Uh, today as well, I'm going to be making my tool holder to organise this bench because it's driving me nuts. But that's uh, another subject for another day. So as I uh, as I was talking about the tracks now, on the market there are a lot of options for replacement tracks. There's Fro, there's Spade Ace, Master Club. Uh, R model, AK Interactive have started pinging out their own tracks. There's a lot. Okay, I went for these guys, and it is Master Club. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here because you're miles away from them. Um, as you can see, these are metal tracks. When you're ordering these, be sure that you're not ordering the resin ones. The resin ones for me were garbage, they were all out of shape and you had to drill through re through the resin and it's the same sort of idea as on the track tracks and the track pins but drilling through resin uh, uh, the first 10 that I did and I was being as gentle as possible and they some point just snapped so, in, so make sure you're getting the metal ones because um, actually the panther ones that I ordered I thought they were metal and they were resin and they were garbage. Um, so in this box you get 210 track lengths, 420 track pins, and it gives you the diameter of the holes for installation of the pins, which is 0.6mm. Uh, tracks fully workable after assembly, no grow out required. It's quite a, quite a heavy box as you can see. Uh, they're whole guide tones, and these are all drilled through guys as well. Um, so you don't need to be going messing about with uh, drilling it and getting yourself covered in lead and residue and all that shit. Um, these pins can be a little bit uh, delicate, should we say. And uh, Brighton Paul uh, on Facebook and YouTube, he's advised me that these pins, uh, they don't actually, if you were to burnish them, these pins will stay the same colour. They, they won't react because they're resin. Um, so that's something to take into consideration. What you can do is burnish the track and then touch up the pins. So that, that's an option to do. But again, there's a lot of ways to do these. Uh, so don't take my word for it or anyone else's word for it. Go out, try your own. 
I know Mike Cohn, he used to swear by Frillmodel, I don't know if that's still the case. Um, I think Frillmodel, when they were first out, they were like the best and they came with, no other thing was you had to drill out the holes and they came with this wire stuff that you had to to drill through and then get the wire and cut it and all that sort of stuff. However, what I've noticed that since these guys and our modern people like that have come on the market, Frill model have come down in price a hell of a lot. Um, they used to be £40 a set um, for me to get, and that was including shipping. Now they're around about 26 quid free shipping. So, again, I'm just interpreting it that uh, because of the competition on the market that they've lowered their prices. Um, but who knows? Well, I've rabbited on uh, for about no an hour now actually. Uh, I'll try and keep them as short as possible guys, but you know what it's like when you start rabbiting and getting out of things. But sometimes a longer video to watch someone actually doing things, that's what I did. Um, you know, watching other people, how they build models, maybe not the right way for you, but that's how they do it and you can always find your, I think it helps you to find your, your, uh, your preferred way of doing things. So, this will be uploaded tonight, a bit edited and it will be the right way, uh, <laughs> if I remember. Um, I'll write myself a note just now. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay, if there's any questions, anything you'd like me to talk about uh, regarding this kit or things associated with the tag or whatever, then you can let me know. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. The next steps will be... Oh! I've wrapped that. I've cut that with a blade, what an idiot. Oh well, I need to... That's one thing. Don't cut things on top of your instructions. <laughs> they should be okay, I mean it's... There's nothing really... That's not cut all the way through, it's these two, there's nothing, we're okay but don't cut things on top of your instructions. <laughs> uh, so anyway, the next segment of the video will be the rear plate and uh, doing all that sort of stuff and uh, possibly on to the upper hole. Next one, I know this one wasn't the most exciting cutting out guide horns and uh, track arms and uh, cleaning them up and stuff but the next one it will be all about the rear plate and stuff and more zim um, and stuff like that to get my teeth into so thank you guys for watching thanks very much I uh, hope you are all well and I'll see you in the next video bye bye